He is very good person, and very good player. He is very intelligent in front of the ball, no? in front of the goalkeeper. And I am very, really, really happy for Rolly Walker. No? Yeah. We are here at Aston Villa Football Club ahead of the EPL finals, joined by Alex Moreno, Aston Villa left back, and also Cameron Rock, who will be representing Aston Villa at the EPL. Today, we're going to be talking everything FC24, playing a little bit of FC24. And Alex, I've heard you play a little bit yourself. Yeah, I play at home sometimes with friends. Well, Cameron here is a professional at yeah. FC24. I'm not going to put you up against him. You will be playing with him, so at least you have got that for you as well. But to start off with, we're going to go through and build your ultimate dream team together to start off with we need a goalkeeper and that goalkeeper we have the choice of Aston Villa current goalkeeper Emmy Martinez or Ariola, the team of the week item I don't think it's up for debate we both know who we're going for we haven't even discussed it by the way but yeah. Emmy Martinez best goal in the world if you know yeah Emmy and having Emmy in goal for you what's that like having that as a goalkeeper who's putting out the orders you know making sure that the back line is being as solid it must be so easy for you playing in defense with him behind you for me is the best Goalkeeper in the world and he's a good friend, good player. For me, he's incredible. No, for me, he's when when he is staying in the pitch, he's a very good cap captain. Moving over to the right back, we have the option of Kieran Trippier's fire item or team of the year. Honorable mentions: Alexander Arnold. Best number for tri number uh, Trippier, but I like Alexander Arnold. They will go with that then. Yeah. He's good, I have used him. Both those items have the whip pass play style. How important is that for you on FC24? If you love to cross, I think it's definitely the best play style you can have because you know you can press square and it just whips it, scores your goals, wins your games. I mean, you've got to have it, in my yeah. opinion. Well, there you are then. The right back is locked in. And moving over to our right centre back, we have the option of Pau Torres' Team of the Week item and also Gabriel's Team of the Week item. Uh, it's Pau, is my friend. Yeah. <laughs> and a uh, Spanish player. Um... Aston Villa, I think, is power there. I agree. Partnering at centre-back, we have that option of Diego Carlos or Christian Romero's Team of the Week item. I mean, Romero has better stats, but then you know, I am here for, the, for my club. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we'll have Diego in. Like, you know, okay, yeah. got, got to back the Villa boys, so that's, that's what we're going to do. On to our left-back. I'm not going to make you decide. Don't worry. We're going to have yourself. Are you happy with that item? Yes, is I am very happy, but I think for the pack, the velocity, I think one, two more. Well, I look at that and I see 69 shooting. He scored a volley this season, <laughs> yeah. which was unbelievable technique. Watkins keeps the chance alive. Moreno! You think that shooting just needs to come up a little bit as well? Yeah, I like to stay very high with uh, inside the box yeah. uh, for good opportunities for for the score the ball. I had two goals yeah. in Premier, and I am very happy and I like more. Moving over to our right mid position, we are going to be playing that 4-4-2. So we have the options of Moussa Diaby or McManaman. I mean, I've used McManaman and I wasn't a fan, if I okay. say so myself. I mean, I'm going to go Villa Bias, Diaby anyway. And like you said, his pace is, I don't think there's a fullback on, on the game that would be able to keep up with him. So he's running a straight line, do some dribbling. Fullback's going to have a nightmare. So I think, I think Diaby would be a good option. Into that centre mid position, Douglas Luiz, Team of the Week item or Joe Linton's Thunderstruck item? Aston Villa is a big player in, in this side. Uh, Joe Linton is big stats, it's a difficult decision, but I think it's Aston Villa, no? Yeah, yeah. save Dougie, Dougie's on <laughs> Save Dougie so. is 100%. <laughs> on to our next centre mid, Kevin De Bruyne's Team of the Year item or Rodri's Team of the Year item? Both are unbelievable play them together actually but i feel like De Bruyne attacking wise is just so good he's got the finesse shot you know we can be on the edge of the box if the defense don't want to press us nice little finesse shot he'll probably yeah. fly in because he's Might got like free shoe in finesse yeah i think we'll go with De Bruyne on to our left mid position we have the option of john mcginn's team of the week item or centurions marcus rashford i like wingers very fast fast when i play it's good to start rashford and mcginn is good but for me it's better in in the midfield. Cameron, are you you going to come away from Aston Villa here? It's hard because obviously McGinn's a captain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, 
the amount of passion he shows in his playing is unbelievable. Yeah. I do, I, I love him, honestly. Like, he's incredible, but I have used this Rashford. He qualified me for the event. He was part of the team that qualified me for this. Alex has said that- My game, how, how 100% good? my game. You're going to begin? All, all my team. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I'm happy to. Yeah, that's fine then. Up front though, we are going to have the options of Team of the Week, Ollie Watkins, or Alexander Isaac's winter wildcard item. Watkins. Okay. 100%. He, he's, yeah, he's the same style, but I prefer 100% Watkins. How's it like having him up front with you? He is very good person. I mean, very good player. He's very intelligent yeah. when he's staying in front of the ball, not in front of the goalkeeper. And I am very, really, really happy yeah. for Rolly Walking. Now. Yeah. Our last position on the team is our last striker that we're going to choose between of Erling Haaland's Team of the Year or Christopher Nkunku winter wildcard item. Erling Haaland, Cameron, <laughs> FC24 right now, he, he's tearing it up a lot, isn't he? Might be the best player in the game. We're in what we call the lab right now, so we're practicing, getting used to these crosses, because the fact is, no one can out jump him and no one can win a header. You see everyone on FC right now, they just cross it, and you can have, you can have Van Dijk there. He's not getting anywhere near it. Haaland yeah. wins it every time, so it's got to be him. And that power shot as well. You yeah. can score some crazy, like, 40-yard shots that fly top corner. Right now, I want to see how you two can play on that virtual pitch and put you up to test against the AI on Legendary. Are you feeling confident? You've got one of the best players in the world sat next to you. Yeah, I am very confident with him. Yeah? <laughs> While we are playing, you will be answering some questions, which will make things a little bit more difficult for you. And then maybe, if you do concede, I might throw in a forfeit. You're blue, Alex. Okay. And Cameron is red. Oh, oh close. Well. Cameron, a game that you've put hundreds and hundreds of hours in, so much practice. For everyone at home, what's the best formation on FC24? I'd love to say 4 4 2, but it's 4 3 2 1, and it's, it's just everyone uses it for a reason. It's okay. very overpowered, so yeah, 4 3 2 1. What makes it such a good formation? You get like an overload, you put your full back on balance, so you always have like that out ball. Like you try and play centrally to start with, and then you go out wide, and the opposition's defence just can't get out there in time. It's that you've got to use your full back as much as you can, basically. Like going forward. And for yourself, Alex, you've got two goals this season. When you're playing, would you prefer like a last minute winner that you score or a last minute goal line clearance? Uh, I think the last minute. Last minute winner? Yeah, in Villa Park, of course. Right now, the game has been somewhat even. We've seen the, the AI have a chance or two as you two just look to find your feet. And Cameron hopefully will show some of those skills that we can look to see at the EPL finals very soon in March as well. Would you have any advice for Cameron, Alex? You've played in some big matches against some big opponents where the pressure's on, you have to perform. Do you have any advice in terms of how to deal with nerves and pressure? The most important thing is, I think, is uh, relax, not nervous. Um, we control the emotions. Yeah. Um, Control the big save from Emmy Martinez. The head. The... And this is your third year representing Aston Villa, obviously the club that you've grown up and support. It must just be such a proud feeling for you and the family. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, yeah, my nan brought me up to. Chance? Go on. Yeah! That pass. <laughs> that pass is... That's amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my nan brought me up to be a Villa fan as soon as I was born. Yeah. No discussion. So, done that ever since. And uh, I'm sure she'd be really proud of what I'm doing with the club now. And uh, Take a moment to appreciate, as you said there, that pass off yeah. from yourself. It was amazing. <laughs> didn't, didn't panic, just saw the pass and Take said, let's give it. Take time and pass. Yeah, and a calm and composed finish. But yeah, you said there that you know, massive support from the family. What do you think your chances are of going ahead and winning? the Premier League? Tough to say. This year, probably higher than ever due to I've just had such a good season, yep. um, personally. Oh, obviously, I've got to rely on my teammate um, called Jamie, but you know, he's a young prodigy who's coming through right now. I'm very confident in him, and I think we both play our best. I, mean, I don't see why we, why we can't. It would be pretty life-changing, to be honest. That it would, as we come up to the stroke of half-time. Actually, in the real-life pitch, Aston Villa having a fantastic season. What do you think the chances are of finishing, possibly, in that top four? I think is the best match, the best important is the next match. We need to win every match for three points is very important for continuing to stay in the fourth in the top five. And this season is a good season for us and for Aston Villa, for the club, for the fans. When it comes to FC24 and kind of the preparation that you have for each tournament, is that sort of a similar sort of process? Yeah, I suppose so. Preparation stays the same. Practice against other pros, like day in, day out for maybe a few hours, sometimes goes on for a bit longer. <laughs> but yeah, just practice and then go into game day and just see if all the hours that you put in is yeah. goes well and hopefully try and win whatever competition I'm in. Well, let's go ahead and jump into this second half. Obviously, Unai Emery has come in and done a fantastic job with Aston Villa. Do you think that's something that he's just bought to the team, just having that preparation for each game, defensively and attacking, having a clear-cut plan on how to win matches? Yeah, it's, uh, 
important for him. Yeah, the gaffer is very intelligent and in, in, in the week he's very uh, ambitious for the for the team. Uh, practice offensive, uh, defensive uh, a lot. No? And for us it's important to, to try in the pitch, to win and to try for stay very concentrated no? in, in all the match. And Cameron, what do you think is the biggest difference between you and maybe someone at home that maybe wants to start taking FC24 a bit more seriously? How can people look to improve their game? I think learning the basic fundamentals is important. But once you've done that, it's just kind of learning the mechanics in the game. And the thing is, there's a lot of them. There's always like videos by coaches and pros like all over social media where you can look at those things. And yeah, you've just got to try and learn them, put them into practice use them in the game and you'll win a lot more games doing that. And what you're seeing right now from Alex on the sticks, well, I've been quite impressed with his dribbling. Very he's got good, a chance, he comes into the box. <laughs> I like the shot. What do you think Alex does good in his game on FC24? You got any little pointers for him? I'm liking what he's doing at the moment. He's keeping it like nice and simple, which yeah. is which is a good thing. Should we, should we try a doggy cross? We know he's good at yeah, whipping his yeah. Yeah. Let's see then, cross comes in. Oh, good save, rebound. Close. That was a really good cross in. We'll see if the oh. AI can look to break away though. That pace coming through. How's Cameron going to defend this? Alex has got to try and get back. There's a sweat off across. It's a goal. No, oh, what a save. Best keeper in the world. You said that you wanted Emmy Martinez in your team. Yeah. That's showing exactly why, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alex, the Premier League is, I would imagine, something that you dreamed of playing in. Did you have a specific Premier League idol growing up, maybe? I like every player. I don't have. Uh, one idol in Premier League, but mm. I, I have, I, I like uh, sometimes very players. Yeah. But not, I, I don't have uh, idol. Is there anyone in Aston Villa's squad right now that you think you could beat on FC24? I play it with my teammates in when when I travel. Yeah. And I win. I want to to Paul, to Emmy, to Douglas. My so, so you're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what we like to hear. Keep running the keepers up. There's a chance to break away here. Goalkeeper's out of position from that corner. Can they put the game to bed? Alex decides to go all the way to the byline. Can he find that pass? A little fake shot. Lovely layoff. Cameron, what can you do? Oh, OK. Feet. Oh. Uh, yeah. I did not mean to pass it, though. I'll be completely honest. No. Nah. You and Cameron pick up that win against that AI. Playing together for the first time. It's not easy to do when you're playing in that 2v1, but you do indeed get that victory. Cameron, that was a good win for you. It was you. good. So it's weird playing against the AI because I never play them. So it's like, I can't really play the way I want to with all my skills and stuff, but a win's a win. Clean sheet, I mean, yeah, we're solid at the back, you know, yeah. everything starts from there. So yeah, I, was, I thought that was a decent performance from us. We should have had a couple more, but, we, but a win's a win, so I'm very happy. So there we have it. We have seen their action on FC24. We've seen them build their ultimate dream team as well. Let us know what you think to that down below in the comments. And be sure to check out the EPL finals on the 23rd and the 24th of March to go and support your club.